All right, um, just wanted to record a direction video for you guys. Um, so that way, another avenue, of course, if anybody's out or, or anything like that, they'll be able to get this video. So that way uh, you can get the directions and maybe get some clarification on something you might be confused about. Um, again, this is a civil rights and civil liberties project. This is going to be half of your overall uh, ending grade um, for your constitution test, excuse me. So it's going to be worth a total of 50 points. Uh, then the test you guys will take um, in the final week uh, before the end of the semester, that will be your constitution exam. Um, so the directions for this project that I'm about to go over with you, um, this is, you know, the, the half of that final grade. Okay. So the purpose of this is just to understand the constitution. Uh, you have to, ex you have to explore again, how we have established our rights and freedoms. Um, and only then can you appreciate the sacrifices that have been made to ensure that we are a nation of law and order. Um, grade level expectation there is to critique and analyze information from multiple sources and perspectives, uh, because that's what you'll be doing. You'll be looking at a lot of different sources. You can try to mold your own perspective um, as far as you know answering that big question, uh, which will be part of your presentation of why um, that's a topic or a right that needs to be protected. There's a standard there. Won't read that to you. Um, civil liberties are freedoms uh, that belong to everyone. Uh, they are protections against government and guaranteed by the Constitution, legislation, and judicial decisions. Civil rights are the positive acts of government designed to prevent uh, discrimination and provide equality before the law. So scrolling down here, I just uh, kind of took an image offline and put that into this, the directions here. So that way you actually have the physical text of the amendments as depending on the topic you pick, you know, it might apply to different amendments. Uh, so I put that on there so that way you at least had that one less thing that you got to go out and search for as far as the text of the Bill of Rights. The details for your project. So you're going to uh, research uh, one of the topics listed below and deliver an informative presentation to the class. Um, as far as the presentation goes, it is not going to be something where you have to physically like deliver the presentation in front of the class. What I mean by that is, is that you're going to be recording a video um, along with audio uh, for this presentation. Uh, so that way you, you know, just have to essentially, if I were to play them, I could just hit play on the computer on the, the smart board there and you guys could just watch the, the presentation. So there won't be a physical time in class that we will take to deliver the presentations. You'll create a video um, and then send that uh, to me or the link or the video file, something of that nature, okay? All right, so as far as how you create the presentation, of course, Google Slides and PowerPoints are probably gonna be the most frequently picked option. Um, I always look kindly upon those of you who branch out and do something that's a little different. So if you do an infographic, a website, Microsoft Publisher, you know, stuff like that, then um, making that video of a presentation for the class. So, um, you know, if you made like a video presentation as opposed to like a Google slideshow with a video. So if you did like a video style presentation, there's all kinds of things you can do for that, right? Um, you can deliver a speech with note cards, you know, all that stuff. Um, I could go on and on about examples, but um, I'll wait for your questions in class uh, when we get there. Um, once you've chosen a topic, so just right here, this is where we're at if you're wondering, okay. So once you've chosen a topic, uh, you're going to need to address some, some following components. So you need to have detailed knowledge on the topic. Um, that is displayed by your ability to verbally explain the purpose and relevance of constitutional provisions and, and cases. Um, also, you know, same type of deal, relevant Supreme Court decisions that apply to your topic. Relevant legislation and executive orders, if any, exist. Some topics won't have that stuff. Most of them will, but a few of them probably aren't going to have many like executive orders. You also need to address why your chosen topic is something that needs to be protected, um, how it's been controversial in the past, and why it's relevant today. Okay, So all of those things need to be present in your presentation. Um, all presentations should be a minimum of five minutes, um, which should be pretty easy um, as long as you're doing all of these components. Um, your presentation should also have visuals. Um, you can include, you know, audio. You can embed a video in like a Google slideshow, stuff like that. Um, totals 50 points and evidence of planning and preparation will be considered. Um, and just as a suggestion, you can create a Google folder for things that you find online or something like that that you don't necessarily 
like in class, maybe you have the time to look at, but you're like, you know what, I'll check that out when I get home, boom, save it to your Google Drive so that way you don't have to go and find it again. Um, and a portion of your grade uh, will be determined by the class. Okay, a very small, small portion uh, will be determined by the class. Uh, so they will watch video, watch your videos, stuff like that, and, uh, you know, submit a small, you know, grade for you. All right, the topics. So the one in yellow that's highlighted there, I did the example on that, so you guys can't do uh, that topic anymore. Okay, but I did want to make you aware that, that that was one of the topics, but I decided to do it on affirmative action. That does tend to be one of the least picked options, um, just based on you know when I've done this in the past. But um, you've got choice of freedom of religion, freedom of speech in the press, your rights to privacy, uh, rights of the accused, cruel and unusual punishment, right to bear arms, racial discrimination, and equality of other groups. So any of those topics interest you, um, you, know, you can pick any of those eight. Okay. The rest of the document is, you know, cases and statutes to consider for each topic. And, and I do want to point out that this is not a comprehensive list. If there are other significant cases related to your topic, you, you want to be sure to include them. Uh, your research should be current with an understanding of the past legal and constitutional precedents that have been set. Uh, so the decisions that have taken place in the past um, that have informed our interpretation in the present and the future. You will also need to research how your topic has been in the news recently. So all of those things uh, would, would need to be present in your presentation. Um, I'll let you go through this list. It's a pretty uh, extensive list. Okay, so just kind of scrolling through. You can see that there's a lot there. Of course, this is the topic I chose, affirmative action. And once you see the presentation, like I, I didn't include everything that's here um, because you know it would have been well over the eight slide minimum that I was that I was going for with your example. Okay. So um, depending on, you know, what you're passionate about, what you want to, like, investigate a little bit more, you know, take a look at, at what's available and what maybe are some going to be some things that you'll have to do some additional research and digging on. Um, so that way it's, it's something that you can get some enjoyment out of and, you know, most importantly, learn something valuable out of the experience of doing the legwork and the research behind these um, civil liberties and civil rights. So I hope that direction, um, you know, helps you out a little bit. Um, if not, and you have any other questions or something like that, you guys know how to contact me, email, you got my cell number, you can text, you know, all that stuff. So, uh, when it comes to that, um, and you have any additional questions that I'm not addressing right now in this eight minute or so video, um, just please hit me up on the usual ways of communicating. Um, hope everybody is, is doing well and staying safe.